Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon. Yeah, I found the gem. Let's seriously hope that doesn't become a trend. At least with this next level, I know for a fact I cannot miss the gem. Because I'll be missing a whole bunch of gems, so it won't really matter if I miss them. At last my portal is working again. Come visit me at the Tiki Lodge. Though I will try and get all of the ones outside of that level. But you'll see why. There's a certain place we can't go to yet. However, today we are doing the Molten Crater, or however much of it we can do. And there's a dude over here. Rhinox are running rampant around here, but I can't get anyone out of the Tiki Lodge long enough to do anything about it. Weren't you guys enemies in Ripto's Rage? Anyway, uh, first of all, you'll notice there's a black steel box here, which means there's a key hidden somewhere in the level. We will not be finding this key for quite some time. You can charge those guys, okay, that's fine. Uh, those guys have steel shields and swords, so you have to charge them. This dude is Indiana Jones, and we'll whip you if you get too close. And then there are these pig guys. Which, uh, the best way I've found to deal with them is just to fly them because they can, um, they knock you back even if you charge them at the same time, so. Also, I think you get a skill point for hitting all those yellow thingamajigs, but don't quote me on that. Ooh! Lucky. Uh, don't quote me on that. I have no idea. I think I've done it before, but I've never done it again. Anyway, we got a couple gems, you guys. Uh, yeah, I usually charge that guy anyway. And... Yeah, alright. Look down here. And we find egg number one. I keep forgetting to look at how many eggs there are. 400 gems, 6 eggs. Two of them, I believe, are unobtainable. Or maybe just one. I forget. Either way, this is egg number one. Ricky! Now you know and I'll let the dragon animations go. I need to decide whether I'm going to let them or not. Ow! Be sure to keep your friend Spark. Yeah, I know how Spark works. If my health runs low, I die. It's an amazing concept in the world of video games. Uh I guess he got bored. Alright. Couple of these guys. I killed that slug. I didn't mean to kill that slug, but I killed that slug. Alright, if you go over here, off the beaten path, as it were, you can find the key! Yes. <laughs> Alright. So, now we could go all the way back if we wanted to. However, there is a shortcut that will open up, I believe, when you complete at least the main section of the level. Also pick. Um... And yeah, the camera like does a weird thing when you get to this bridge, it like pans over to it slowly or something. I just don't understand that. Anyway, if you look over here, there are a couple of gems on this platform. And barrel. And if you fly over here I usually miss that jump. Um, I have no idea how you're supposed to make it back though. I guess like that. Well there you go. <laughs> Ow. Um alright. And if you jump right up here, you find the guy. Here, take this egg. They were giving them away at the Tiki Lodge last night. Cool. Dragon egg number two, Curly. Bless you. Okay. Now, I believe that made the thing open. If it didn't, that means we'll have to go all the way around. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. My memory of this level is not totally bad. Alright, so if you run right over here, 
the key will automatically open, and just like in Spiral 1, the chest will explode. Alright, now that we got the gems inside there, let's head back up here. And we find a weird looking thing that looks like a birdcage and a face. Let's see what the face says. Hmm. Sergeant Bird. I wonder who he is. Well, we won't be finding that out until World 2. That's kind of how Worlds 1 through 3 work. You're missing characters in one level for one minigame for each of the levels. Also, money bags. Spyro, you're just in time. I saw two egg thieves run through this door. Well, actually, they paid me to guard their hideout, but uh, that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for <clears throat> a small finder's fee. Which basically means 300 gems. Thank you, Spyro, and best of luck catching those dastardly egg thieves. You're just saving time. Alright, let's head through here, and talk to this dude. Are you the dragon looking for all those eggs? Because I saw a shifty looking character with one over there. Yep, there are egg thieves in here. First, grab the ones in this little cave thing. And we won't be worrying about any of the ones like on the outside right now. Because as you can see, we have a supercharged bath, but it is not on. So, run across, or along the path, grabbing the gems as we go, and then we'll worry about uh, staying on Thieves' Tail. Yeah, not too much exciting to say about this. We're just chasing, chasing an egg thief along a path. Also, we're almost there. Yeah, Got him! And for beating him, we get egg number three. Moira. Who thinks she's a dog? Hey, there goes another one! He was really fast. Maybe if I activate the supercharge, you'll be able to catch him. Alright, egg thief number two. The supercharge is now on. We could go and grab a whole bunch of stuff, like, on the outside here, but... Worry about catching the egg thief first. If I fall off, we'll worry about the stuff. So, catching this guy is kind of a pain because he'll do this and now you're behind again. Ah! And you'll sometimes fall off and have to start the whole. Ah! Start the whole thing over again! Stop that. Okay. Get over here, you. Yeah! Dang it. No. That's not gonna work either. Um, yeah, chasing this guy is kind of a matter of luck and timing. Much timing. Also, I've got to stop doing that. It's not giving me any progress. Ha! Got him! I think in the same exact spot I did the first guy. But Kermit the Frog for beating him. Who also thinks he's a dog. These are some confused dragons. Okay, now if you look right over there, there's a breaking right thing. Now, something interesting. If you look right over here, there seems to be a crack wall. I thought you could only supercharge through that. Uh, well, okay then. <laughs> I could have sworn you could only supercharge through that, but uh, eh, makes my job easier. So now you just gotta run around, get as many of the gems as you can, but you won't be getting all of them because of the Sergeant Bird level. At least I believe that's the case. We'll look around here a little bit more, and then that'll be all for this episode of Let's Play Spyro: You're the Dragon. Where we beat Molten Crater in almost less than 10 minutes! Okay. <laughs> huh. I could still be with the old YouTube time moment in this place. That's weird. Cloud Spires took me like two parts. Probably only because of that gem. 
Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I still have yet to even edit that one. It's not weird. Today is Saturday, August 20th. In case you guys were, you know, curious. Alright, well, let's head through the portal, and if there's anything to say, great. If there's not, then eh. But I'm pretty sure there's not a cutscene. 288. If you have less than that when you come out of here, you miss some. If you have more than that, I miss some. <laughs> so there you go. Alright. So, what lies behind this giant seashell thing that took 15 eggs to open? Find out next time as I swim around this rock. On Let's Play Spyro, You're the Dragon! Until then, later guys.